well this is Tarun from testing gyan by now i'm sure you all know how to handle different type of web elements in selenium such as button link text box etc in this video we are going to discuss about a very important web element which in my experience is the most commonly asked question in interviews and people normally find it in find it difficult to answer and that web element is web table so now let us see how we can handle web tables in selenium let us first understand what is a web table so web table is a table on a web page that is your data is being represented in form of tabular format with the help of rows and columns where each cell is represented by some row number and the column number so in selenium web table is simply a web element and we will be performing the web element functions in order to access the content of that table now let us see what are the different type of tags which are important to understand about the web table so the major web table tags are table which defines the table that this is a web table in the web page then the th tag which represent the header uh, row of a web table then tr tag which represent the normal rows of the web table and that is the rows which are having some data in them and then the td tag represent the columns of the web table now there are two types of web tables majorly which are static and dynamic so as the name suggests static tables are the tables where the data remains constant that is it's not going to change anything so we can simply access the content of this uh, web table by using the row number and the column number because rows and columns are fixed here then comes the dynamic tables so dynamic web table are something where the content of the web table keeps on changing Okay. So that is number of rows and columns can also vary and the content of the web table can also vary mm -hmm. now let us see how we can do it with the help of a practical example now before we look at the code so this is a sample web table which i found over the web which we will be working in our example uh, so this is a web table here the first row this particular row is representing the headers column headers basically and the, this row is also representing the headers for each row okay and these are the columns basically uh, country city height build rank and this one okay and these are the data present in the columns and the at the particular row number so now let us see how we can handle this with the help of selenium okay so as you can see this is my a web table class where i have done the basic setup like launching the chrome browser and then initializing the web elements and all everything okay now in order to access the data of a particular cell we should know the row number and the column number okay now if my table is static then i can simply give the row number and column number in my x path as you can see this is my x path here Okay, where I have parameterized the row number and column number which I will be passing with the help of my function so I am accessing the particular cells content with the help of the row number and the column number okay that is if I want to access the row, uh, this cells data then my row number will be 3 and my column number will be 2 okay because this is my second column and third row so same way what i'm doing i have prepared the x path using the row number and column number and then i am simply getting the text of that particular web element okay because in web table every uh, row column table itself are web elements only so we will be using the web element functions here okay. so if i run this particular code here okay you can see i am calling the function with different different row and column numbers okay so let me run this And later we can verify okay, so this is how you will be handling the static web table where you know that like my this data is present on this row and this column so you can simply give the row and column numbers so here you can see like all the cell values are being printed so cell value 2 for that is uh, row 2 column 2 is mecca so if I see row 2 and column 2 is mecca and then uh, row 3 column 2 is the IP. so if i see row 2 i'm sorry row 3 column 2 row 3 and column 2 is the IP. 
so this way you can access the content of a static web table now let us see how we can handle the dynamic web tables so in order to handle the dynamic web tables like where rows and columns can change we will first find the count of the rows which are at present present on that web table and the columns so how we can do that i have simply prepared a generic xpath for my rows if you see here if i inspect here if i paste this xpath here So you can see this particular xpath is representing all the rows of this particular web table so using this generic xpath what i am doing i am using the uh, find elements function where i am using the row xpath and i am storing all the rows data into this particular row list okay and then later on i am finding the size of this list which will give me the total number of rows present in my web table similarly i am doing it for my columns so I, I got the total number of rows present in my web table and the total number of columns present in my web table. Now in order to handle something like for example I want to access some data of my particular row and column. I got the total number of rows and columns but in order to get the specific content now I should have some identifier kind of thing like I should have some data which i should know in order to access the other content for example uh, here in this function i am giving the country like country is known to me i know i want to find out the data of the row where country is this okay so i'm just passing on the country okay and then i am applying the loops which these loops the first loop is for the rows and the second loop is for the columns so both of these loops are traversing over the complete table okay and you can see this is my cell x path okay that is the x path which is representing the data of each and every cell okay so this uh, cell is being represented by some row and column so as you can see i have parameterized the row and the column which are being passed from these loops okay so that way i am traversing through the whole web table and as soon as i am finding the country which I have passed from this function, you can see I am storing the row number and column number in the variables and then I am breaking off the loop. I am coming out of this loop. Okay, That is I got the particular row and column number. Then later on, based on that row and column number, I can access the data of that particular row with uh, of any column. So here you can see like I have uh, found the row and column number, printed out them and then after that I have prepared a X path for the rank okay where I'm using this row and column number okay and then I'm accessing the data of this particular column using the row number and column number which I found using the country name okay so if you see here then later on I'm printing the rank of that particular country so if you see so this is my dynamic web table handling where I don't know where, on what row, what column my particular data will be present. So I'm using the list like find elements function and storing the data into the list. And then I'm getting the size of that list to get the row and column number. And then I'm traversing through the whole web table to find out that particular content. So if I run this. comment these out now so I'm giving the country name as Taiwan I want the rank of that country I don't know where exactly this country will be present so using my dynamic web table implementation it will find out so you can see it has find out that my country Taiwan is present on third row and column one which is third row one two three and column one so you can see Taiwan and then using the same x path like same row number and column number I am fetching out the rank so rank should be three so you can see rank is three so this way you can handle the dynamic web tables I hope you guys are able to understand in case you have any questions please let us know over the video comments thank you